Today I want to talk about the full funnel campaign setup that we use here at CTC and why we do it. So CBO cost cap, that's our preferred structure. So this is our campaign. Inside of these campaigns, we'll usually have three or four ad sets. We'll look something like this, call this broad, call this an interest stack. And then this will be remarketing inside of the CBO. And then inside of each of it, we'll have somewhere between three to five ads, depending on the budget. And the reason we do this is, let's say we've got one of these ads. Just for the sake of my bad drawing, we'll assume it's a boot company, okay? And this ad drives to a lander, which is another tactic that we really think is super important, the utilization of landers. And of course, this ad is driving using a specific UTM. What that UTM allows me to do is to inform the specific re -audience, remarketing audience that I'm adding into my funnel. So I wanna be able to look at the campaign and view the entire results of this funnel. So I'm going to remarket specifically the UTM traffic. So I'm gonna go into my audience manager, I'm gonna say build me an audience off of this UTM for this ad, and I'm gonna drop that into my remarketing audience. Okay, and then inside my remarketing audience, I can now build ads that take into consideration that somebody has seen this ad, they've been to this lander, and I know a lot about their state. So now I can design an ad where somebody, let's say it's a human, is talking about the product, and I can drop them straight to a PDP. So now, what I have is a funnel that allows me to speak to the customer at every phase. Now, a lot of times the concern will become that Facebook, when you're running CBO with remarketing and each of these, will begin to allocate the budget too much to remarketing. Well, one, that's not true. Facebook does not do this. We run this in countless, countless campaigns. It allocates it appropriately relative to the outcome. And the key is to have a variable cost cap relative to prospecting and remarketing. So let's say I want the whole campaign, I wanna have a two to one, okay? And what my cost cap needs to be is like, and I'm, let's say it's a $50 AOV, so I can use cost caps, which are a CPA measurement. So I have a $50 AOV. I want a two to one ROAS. So overall, I need a $25 CPA. Well, what I'll set up as a target is in my prospecting sets, I'll have a $28 or so cost cap. In my WCA 30, I'll have something like a $22 cost cap. So in this case, Facebook is going to allocate the budget relative to the opportunity to create this outcome in each audience. And now when I view my campaign results, I can see the results of the entire funnel. The problem when you break up prospecting and remarketing into different phases, if I have prospecting here and remarketing here, and it's a generalized remarketing budget. So this remarketing holds everybody who's been to my website, call it a general WCA 30, and then I have a prospecting funnel up here. Well. Facebook, what it does is if you see both of these ads, okay, it's going to assign value um, to what it calls last interaction, right? So it's going to assign the sale to the last interaction of the user, which is most commonly going to be this. So you're going to see the bulk of your purchases show up in the remarketing funnel, and you won't actually be able to tell which of your prospecting campaigns, let's say I have multiple running, and a lot of the purchases are getting sucked into this, so their purchases are getting sucked out of here into here. You can't actually tell which of these prospecting campaigns because it may be driving demand here, but the purchase result is happening inside of this campaign. And it's really hard to get a full funnel view. I have to go in and sort out ad sets to identify what the actual ROAS is for a campaign. But when I run it in this clean stack, I have the ability to identify by UTM the ad sequence so I can sequence my messaging as well as get a clear view of the performance of the funnel um, against the outcome that I want. And this sort of intentional marketing allows me to really improve my campaign results. Now, you'll notice, of course, my UTM doesn't cover all my remarketing traffic, so I will still have a remarketing campaign that goes after my general. So this is a separate campaign that is a WCA 30 for all organic traffic, right? So anybody that came in, I'm gonna have a separate 
uh, campaign entirely from this to run it. But in my core prospecting, I'm going to remarket, especially when I'm running landers, remarket my traffic inside of that CBO to understand the clear outcome. This structural setup will allow you to have better data visibility and create more scale using this campaign.